guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something in particular you want us to react to, drop the link down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. You can... Uh, you can you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Allah says don't stress too much. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Okay, what should we do? What does the Quran and Sunnah tell us about battling with that type of stress? What do you learn from the first thought that comes from the believers as they enter Jannah. May Allah make us amongst them. The first thought is what? Alhamdulillah, no more worrying. That shows us, dear Muslims, that this world is associated with feeling anxious. This world, every step, every single part of our journey, every day, every week, every month, there's something else that's going to bring us anxiety and grief. And I challenge you, dear brothers and sisters, look back at any phase of your life. When things are good, we're worried that things are going to go bad. When things are bad, we're worried things are bad. When money is wealth a lot, we're worried it's going to go away. Investment is going to go down. When money is tight, we're worried money is tight. There is no situation or scenario that we find ourselves in except that there's some anxiety, some grief somewhere. True, not all anxiety is the same. Alhamdulillah, if we have a roof over our heads and food in the pantry and fridge, Alhamdulillah, that is much better than those who do not have security and food. But still, feeling anxiety, worried, stressed out, is a part and parcel of being human. And it will only be completely gone when we enter Jannah, insha'Allah ta'ala. And that is why, dear brothers and sisters, it is so important that we understand and we tackle head on the reality of stress and grief. And we make, us, make it a part of our daily discourse that it is nothing wrong to feel anxious. You don't have to feel guilty for feeling stressed out, especially in this time of pandemic. I mean, how can we not be anxious, worried, stressed out? People are dying. Everyone amongst us has had family or friends that have passed away. On top of this, we have limited socialization. Some of the things that would relieve our stress was to be with friends and family. That too has been taken away. Anxiety in terms of money. So many of us, our job situations, maybe even we're looking for jobs and in this pandemic, Allah al musta'an. Families being cooped up, it should bring more love. But the reality is with that love also comes tension. Sometimes between husband and wife, between father and son, it becomes worse because you're all cooped up. So no doubt, during this time frame, this pandemic, it's understandable that anxiety and stress and grief and worry, it's going to increase. Okay, what should we do? What does the Quran and Sunnah tell us about battling with that type of stress? First and foremost, dear Muslims, realize that the Quran tells us that people of piety can stress. People of taqwa feel anxious. The fact that you're stressed out doesn't mean you have bad iman, weak iman, lack of iman. No, this is wrong. People of taqwa and people of iman also feel stressed out. Look at the Quran, so many examples. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the mother of Musa, she was full of grief when she put Musa in that basket and it went away. And Allah azza wa jal said to her, لا تخاف ولا تحزني إنا رادوه إليك Don't be worried, don't stress out. She was worried and stressed out. Allah revealed to her indirectly that calm down. Maryam السلام, one of the greatest, when she was all alone, she had no friend, no companion, and she was giving birth, she was stressed out. Allah sent an angel to tell her, don't worry, she was worried. The fact that she was Maryam did not negate that she was worried. Her iman was one place and the worry was another place. They are not mutually exclusive. We learn in the Quran that Yaqub was stressed out 
In fact, he was so stressed out that that anxiety caused him to lose his sight. Because of anxiety, his eyes did not work the way they were supposed to. And Yaqub is a prophet. Is anybody going to accuse Yaqub of not having faith, not having iman? Why are you stressed out, Yaqub? Don't you have iman in Allah? Feeling stress and iman? are not mutually exclusive. You can have both together. We have in the Quran as well, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq was worried in the Ghari Thawr and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calmed him down. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself said that don't worry, Allah Azza wa Jal is with us. لا تحزن إن الله معنا And even the Sahaba, multiple times Allah Azza wa Jal tells them, sometimes even for financial issues, you know, the stock market crashes. Many of us might feel anxious. We lose our 401k, something happens. We're gonna feel stressed. We get out of a job, there's gonna be anxiety. Let not that stress become itself a source of stress. You get my point here? Let not your stress itself cause you to be more stressed out that why am I feeling stress? It's okay to be anxious. It's okay to be worried. You have Iman inshaAllah ta'ala and you can still feel worried. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa multiple times in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him, we know it hurts you what people are saying. The reputation, it hurts when people say bad about you. Our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is consoled over half a dozen times in the Quran. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ فَلَا تَحْزَنْ عَلَيْهِمْ So many times, don't feel anxiety, don't feel grief. Allah is consoling the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he is hurt. His chest is in constriction because of rumor mongering. Rumor mongering, words. Words do hurt, they hurt. So the first point that we learn, dear Muslims, is that feeling anxiety and stress is normal. It is natural. It's a part and parcel of not just being Muslim, but being human. Every one of us is going to feel anxiety at times of tension. And we also need to look at it from a biological and a psychological standpoint. This is Allah's mechanism to put us on our guard. Imagine if we didn't feel stressed and we're losing our money. That would be a problem. Imagine what happens when you're stressed out, you focus. That's the purpose. Allah blessed us with the mechanism of stress. We all know when adrenaline flows, for example, our perception changes, our focus changes. It is a gift from Allah, which yes, it has its own negatives we have to deal with. But overall, if used properly, stress is a part of a gift that is used for our survival for our protection, that we start thinking and focusing. You know when we're stressed about something, we're constantly thinking about it. Why? We need to get a solution. If we didn't get that stress, why would we think about it? So we have to understand that stress, anxiety, grief, at some level is totally normal, and it is a part and parcel of not just being a Muslim, but being a human. The second point that this leads me to, is that as a Muslim, alhamdulillah, we have tools to minimize stress. We have tools to help us overcome stress. One main tool in the Quran to battle against stress is our belief in qadr, in predestination. We believe that everything happens by the will of Allah and the decree of Allah. And in that, we should feel a sense of calm, a sense of protection. The believer uses qadr to feel a consolation for anything that has happened in the past. Qadr is used to console the past. Something happened, somebody passed away. I lost my job, the stock market crashed. Anything in the past tense, you say Qadr Allah wa ma sha'a fa'al. We don't use Qadr for the future, that's something else. Qadr is used to console the past. قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا Say, nothing is gonna happen to me except what Allah has decreed will happen to me. And He is my Mawla. He is my protector. Whatever Allah has decreed, I put my trust in Him. The one who put me in the situation will also help me get out of it. The one who gave me this reason and this cause of feeling anxiety will also give me the tools to cope with that anxiety and to eventually overcome that anxiety. We firmly believe that anxiety and stress is a means of attaining Allah's reward if we channel it to connect with Allah. Any pain and stress that we feel, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no Muslim is afflicted with any grief or stress or pain or anxiety or suffering. Six adjectives he gave, six. 
different things to describe every possible state. No pain, no anguish, no grief, no worry, no physical pain, not even a shawka, a thorn that pricks him. And he is patient, except that Allah will give him the ajr for that stress and grief. Faith does not eliminate stress, but faith allows you to cope with it and deal with it in a way that insha'Allah ta'ala, you can live a life as normal as possible and then meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that ajr. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you. It's a very interesting video. Um, I mean, many of us, not just because of the pandemic, many of us because of a lot of things are actually going through the most. We managed to put out smiles, we managed to be kind, we managed to be just there for others, but we're going through a lot. So even when you start going through a lot, this should be a reminder that God has your back no harm may come your way unless it's supposed to no one can make anything go against you unless god really wants that thing to happen to you so at the end of the day you have to keep your head held high you have to remember that you're not doing this some of us or some of you have good friends that you can tend to to help you cope with whatever you're going through and um you shouldn't neglect that. Use that option if you have it. If it's God you want to turn to, do just that. Otherwise, you're never alone. There's always someone out there that loves you. There's always someone out there that's praying that you're good, that everything is alright with you. So just don't give up on yourself no matter what happens in the world, no matter what's happening in your life. Just stay strong. Uh, let me know what you guys think and feel about this video. If there's anything like this you want me to react to drop the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video